Hey guys, I um, uploaded a video earlier that was showing about screen markers and I thought that I'd redo the video because my friend watched it and I was trying to like tell him what to do and stuff and he didn't really understand so I thought maybe the video wasn't as good as it could be so I'm going to go a bit more into depth about how to actually use them for smelting ore in this video so that you can see what to use them for and how to use them as well as just where to get them from. Um, this will be a full screen video, you'll see my whole screen so you can see sort of my RuneScape setter. I have my RuneScape down here and you know I, I watch TV or whatever, I was watching that but it was crap so I stopped it. Um, I have my YouTube and all that sort of stuff and forums because I'm a forum noob, I like to post on my clan thread. Uh, Ray Joe for if I'm uploading a video because my Videos won't buffer, so I can't really watch telly, so I have to listen to the radio. Um, right, basically, the screen markers for Macs are actually called Magic Pen, as screen markers just don't seem to exist as that name on Macs. So if you want them, they basically mark your screen. You can go to this website here, or just Google Magic Pen and look for this and download those and if you have a Windows computer you just Google screen marker and it's a lot easier for you guys you literally just go on top link and there it is screen marker um, once you downloaded it and installed it or whatever you need to do you can then draw on your screen which is sounds a bit silly and you probably don't know why you'd want to do that a lot of you but it's actually really good if I just open it basically I can draw squiggle whatever colors I want you know um, control Z undoes so you can delete them control and I this is for magic pen by the way on the Mac and when I say control I actually mean command um, but yeah control and I makes it so you can like click on stuff and do whatever again so it's not painting so basically you want to get whatever colours you want if you're doing smelting ore and you want to come to West Bank and stand in this bank booth and draw roughly where these are and have the camera angles but I mean you can work it out yourself um, right basically I've got one over here which is lined up so that I can smelt and this is like a double click exit bank method which you'll see in a sec and once I've done the invent up to where my spell is look I stop and then I click on the blue which gets the banker open I go down to there click on that and then my mouse is lined up to deposit all and I have full bank so my nature stay there then I move up to the red dot right hand click down to the other red well the red dot's slightly out but to the top of the red dot and then I double click there like I've just done really slowly just to show you and it actually closes the bank so I don't have to go all the way up to the top and do it and then I can go back to just rapidly clicking um, I'm not sure on the exact XP per hour but it's something like 120,000 XP per hour if you do it right you get I think about 55 XP if what I'm gaining at the minute is smithing and the other half is magic so if you're not 99 magic it's you know you might as well do this method it costs a little more than um, doing it on a furnace but obviously you're getting magic XP and it's a lot faster so you just go bang 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 and then you can go back to that I'm not the fastest at doing it but my fingers are tired so I'm even slower than I was earlier because I've been doing this for five hours maybe now I'm doing this all the way to um, 88 so I'm just replying to my friend um, so yeah basically you can between every single character remote of him doing that little fireball thing you can actually smith two bars and that is a lot faster probably about twice as fast as using a furnace uh, this is a little bit faster than doing it Soul Wars Bank I'd say as well because you don't have to press X every time to exit the bank but you get random events which you might think slows down your XP per hour but if you think about it that's 
sort of a little bit of RC XP and RC XP is quite slow. So unless you get the mage random, you're actually probably increasing the XP per hour or save time rather I should say. Um I'm not even as fast when I'm videoing, it's like awkward to talk and do this. Um I guess so I'd also want it lol. Yeah, this is the first upload video onto the channel apart from the one which I did earlier which I've now deleted. Um, it's mine and Matt's M40's shared YouTube channel as we do most things in RuneScape together or we base things on each other like we want to do a from scratch so I'm getting Smith and he's getting the crafting. Um, so we thought it would be a really good idea just to make a channel together and upload them there and put some guides up and that sort of stuff like we're only going to upload stuff that we think's alright quality and we're going to try and get a decent background I've made a really skanky quick one just so it doesn't look too plain and we're going to try and actually make a shot of having a decent YouTube channel we don't want to be like really famous we just you know want to do something else apart from just skill and stuff oh mess that up um, So yeah, we've got the channel, it's mainly for fun. We're not really good editors. I mean, this video won't even get edited unless maybe I zoom in a little bit. I don't think I will though. I'll probably just upload it as it is. Um, I'll be uploading some Mac, uh, videos to do with Macs and RuneScape because there's not, <coughs> not many videos out there that are for Mac players on who play RuneScape really. So... I thought it might be a good idea because every time it's like I want to do something like I wanted a screen recorder for a Mac I really struggled to find something so I'm going to upload videos of like programs and that for Macs that are RuneScape related nothing like bots or nothing bad like that it's literally just like a recording software the obviously magic pen tool which I'm using now and stuff like that. Um, if you're under what I do record with, I use a program called um, ScreenFlow, which records in HD, but it does lose quite a lot of quality, especially if you move your RuneScape camera around when it's in resizable. Oh yeah, you need to be in resizable to do this to click through the chat box. It doesn't work on fixed screen. Anyways, um, oh yeah, basically you need to face your character east to do this and roughly where you want hang on let me just finish off this inlet right you want your ore down at the bottom with your gold bars in the same one if you want to keep track how many you've made and the reason you want them at the bottom is so when you right and click the withdraw option drops below the bank that's why I've got them really low down. You can have them a little bit lower, but I like them there, so there's more space to click on them. I mean, you can click there and it still drops down. And it drops down underneath the bank space, so when you double click, it does click underneath. And then you just back to smithing. Um, I'd only suggest doing this to 88, and from there, I'd do adamant plate bodies. The XP to GP ratios really changed in the minute, so I won't really talk too much about that because of the um, bot nuking that should be happening this week which I'm sort of looking forward to but at the same time I'm a bit worried about what's going to happen with prices because bots have been about for a long time now and although I want them gone it is going to affect the game hugely and I just hope it isn't as bad as when free trade came out and prices just went all over the place um, well that's just about it for this video guys Make sure to subscribe if you want the sort of videos which we should be making. We'll try and upload them as often as we can. Uh, thanks for watching.